Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Tuesday the 19th of May. I'm just going to pray. Lord, thank you for this opportunity to come before you this morning and to hear your word and to pray. And in doing so, may you speak to us. Pray. Amen. So today's passage of the Bible is from Psalm 30, verses 3 to 5. So I'll just read them now. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favour lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. And in some versions it says joy comes in the morning. And uh, it's funny that I've been given this passage to reflect on because this has uh, actually been something that's been really encouraging me over the last few weeks. In fact, I wrote a song about it and recorded it. Um, and it's, um, yeah, so it's been, it's been very inspiring. And I think my relationship to it has changed slightly in the last couple of weeks. I think um, possibly initially when I started playing around with the, the, the words joy comes in the morning and, and reading it in this chapter and thinking about it, and letting that kind of settle with me. I, I think initially I, I was grabbing onto the hope of just, uh, you know, oh, things will get better. Things will get better. Um, but as I've gone on uh, in my, even just my relationship to, to that, to the text, to this passage, um, I've realized that actually some of the encouragement is deeper than just, oh, everything's going to be better then, you know, joy comes in the morning. Um, so in the morning, everything's going to be better. I've realized that actually it's kind of uh, much more linked to vision. And you'll notice here, uh, we've just moved house and this room is my little studio, will be my little studio kind of study type thing. Um, and right now it is a mess. It is the boxes everywhere. I've got guitar cases and all kinds of stuff everywhere. It's not an inspiring place <laughs> to be. And it's uh, it would be very easy to just look at all this and go, "Wow, this is just a mess. This is this is not this isn't anything. This is just a big pile of stuff." Um, but. Uh, I, in my head, I know what I want this to be. I know what this is. I, I can see what it's going to be like. Um, not per exactly, but I have a, I have a, a, a vision of what it's going to be like. Um, and that gives me hope that all of this will be fine. So I can actually live with it now, not being fine, and be okay with that. Because at some point it will be better. And I've got the vision for it. And I think that this this phrase, actually, of joy comes in the morning. You know, this uh, in, in verse 5 when it says, Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning, or joy comes in the morning. Um, actually, it's not just about having hope to for things to change. It's actually about having vision. And vision of what the future looks like with God. And, um, and and be able to walk in that. I don't have all the answers of how to do that, and I grapple with it every day myself. But um, it makes me realise that what I do today is part of that. It's not just that tomorrow will be better. It's actually that how I live today, with that hope and that vision, it affects today. It affects now. And, uh, and to be able to walk in that is really important. Anyway, I'm going to pray, but also I want I want to uh, just to finish this this um, morning prayer just um, by uh, I'll add I'll add the video of, of of that song just the end of the song um, because it's a time lapse of of a sunrise which um, which I think to me is such a hopeful thing to to look at um, and uh, yeah and hopefully what we've talked about will will can kind of settle settle with you as we do that. 
anyway, dear Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you uh, you you know what we're going through. You know where we're where we're at. And there's so many people struggling at the minute, of course, but I pray that somehow we can not only know that tomorrow will be better and that joy comes in the morning, but that actually that hope lives with us today. And we can walk in that. And, and it's part of vision rather than just desperation. Amen. And uh, yeah, may you all be blessed today. Joy comes in the morning. 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 Joy comes in the morning.